now the part where I will introduce to you the product of the process. Again, the rubrics of this, both holistic and analytic, will be flashed on your screen. For the holistic rubrics, it is divided into four criteria, which is taste, presentation, effort, and creativity. The highest points for this is 3, and the lowest is 1. So for the first criteria, taste, 3 is for it is appealing and uses unique flavor combination. 2. It is somewhat appealing and uses general flavors. And 1, which is the lowest, it is lacking. For the second criteria, presentation, 3. Neat and well-balanced appearance. 2. Uneven balance of ingredients. 1. It does not look good at all. Third criteria, effort. 3. Use a recipe with high skill in level involved. 2. Use a recipe with easier skills involved. And 1. Recipe was not as favorable for the many. And the last criteria, creativity. 3. Is for an original idea that pays attention to detail, attracts the audience's attention. 2. Is for the idea is ordinary and common that you have heard before. And 1. Pays little to no attention to planning in detail. For the analytic rubrics of the product, it is divided into four levels, poor which is equivalent to three points, fair six points, good eight points, and excellence ten points. It has three criteria for judging, effort, creativity, presentation, and taste. For effort, poor three points is when the student does not exert effort with a dish created. Fair, 6 points, the student exert minimum effort with a dish created. Good, 8 points, he or she somewhat exert efforts with a dish created. And last, the highest points, which is 10, excellent, the student exert a maximum effort in the totality of the dish. For creativity, poor is when the student does not pay attention to the planning. Fair is the student has an ordinary idea. Good is when the dish reciprocates a common knowledge but somehow corresponds with uniqueness. And the last, excellent, which is the dish is an original idea and unique in all sorts of forms. For presentation, poor is when the dish is not appealing. Fair is when the dish is somewhat appealing. Good is when the dish does look good but unbalanced in some way. And excellent is when the dish is neat and appetizing to eat. Last criteria is the taste. It is when the dish does not taste good for poor. The dish is lacking for fair. The dish is somewhat appealing and uses general flavors for good. And the highest points, which is excellent, the dish is appealing and uses unique flavor combination. Spicy sardines is inspired by typical Filipino gourmet, the affordable version. Most of the Filipinos would love to eat sardines with, let's say, egg or sky flakes, and can sit canton with egg or hot dog, and the like in a daily basis. If you have tried that, then kudos to you. It is made of um, affordable ingredients such as the pansit canton for the pasta, the Pinoy favorite sardines, the spicy one, spices, tomato, garlic, and onions. I also added some ingredients that I saw in our fridge. For example, this boiled egg and the like for, you know, presentation purposes. As I've said in the process video, you can add any ingredients of your liking. So, it's up to you. The most important part of this dish that you should bear in mind is the process wherein you cook your pasta or your pastaton. So the texture should not be like saggy and hard at the same time. You should never overcook it or undercook it. So it should be balanced. Everything should be balanced. It's the right um, amount of heat and water. So I guess this will be the end of the video and have a nice day everyone.